building applications with Tauri and has always provided an exceptional developer experience. However, releasing and then distributing those applications has always been somewhat cumbersome. Today, we're really excited to show you Crab Nebula Cloud that aims to solve exactly that problem. In our time together, we will look at a very basic Tauri app that we've built, and then we'll deploy it globally with Crab Nebula Cloud using GitHub Actions as a continuous integration flow. To get started, let's create an organization on Crab Nebula Cloud. This is what you'll see once you log in with GitHub. An organization in Crab Nebula Cloud is very similar to a GitHub organization. So let's get to it. We'll call this organization My Nice Org, or put it this way in human English, My Nice Org. And what we see is the slug is a machine readable variant of that. So we'll create My Nice Org. Now, in My Nice Org, we can create an application. Let's start, and we'll call it My my Tauri app. And what we see is, again, there's a machine readable version that's important for APIs. We'll say it's public and we'll create this. Great. So we've created an application. And now what we can do is add update logic to it such that if and when we roll out updates, we get a seamless experience. We'll then use some of these identifiers in GitHub Actions to continuously release our application. So let's add this portion to our application immediately. Um, however, we do already have a public key in place, so we'll add it maybe up to there. So we'll come here and we'll go to Tauri's configuration, and we will add it just up to the public key. We already have the keys set up. Now, let's set this up by tying it to GitHub Actions. To do that, we need to use our app ID and some API keys. So we'll get our app. Our app ID is literally just um, my nice org slash my Tauri app. It's this combination, okay? And we can actually see that here as well. So we have that in mind. What we need is API keys. To create an API key, we'll go to settings and we'll make a new API key. We'll call it my API key. We'll create that. It's valid for 30 days. We'll copy this. We'll go to GitHub. This is our repo and we'll add them to secrets. So we'll say secrets and variables. We'll say CN API key. That's Crab Nebula API key is this. We'll update that. And let's update the app ID as well. The app ID is indeed. Um, go here and it should be my Tauri app. I believe it's this. Okay. Just like that. So we'll do this. Okay. So we've updated. Now we have everything in place. Let's push a release. We like to do tagged releases. So we'll tag this with the version 1.0.0, push it to GitHub and watch the magic happen. While it happens, we'll explore the GitHub action that makes this happen. This action is open source and you can use it today. Okay. So let's um, change the Tauri version to 1.0.0 and we'll commit this and say release. And then we'll tag this with git tag 1.0.0. We'll get push and we'll also push the tags with it. Great. Now, if we go back to our repos homepage, what we see is our GitHub action is running. Let's go through the details of this. So it's starting the job and it's waiting for a runner to come online. This shouldn't take too long. There we go. So we're setting up the job. We're checking out the repo and we're using a rust cache to make sure that our dependencies are cached. Then we get the tag name. In this case, it's 1.0.0. We set up node because we're using node to build our application. And then we just let Tauri build. Tauri is going to go through this now and compile a bunch of Rust crates, making this build on CI. Once it's built, we'll have our final assets. That's a package that we can distribute. And then we'll send it over to Crab Nebula Cloud and release it. Let's continue to watch this and maybe we'll speed through it if we need to. Okay, it's almost done. And we're just in the final step. So we're building a macOS bundle. Okay, it's done. We've we've got a macOS bundle. We've created a draft release on Crab Nebula Cloud. We're uploading our macOS bundle. We're publishing a release. And finally, everything's done. So now if we go back to cloud, what we'll see is, and if we reload the page, what we'll see is we have 1.0.0 and it's published. We can then go to the web page from this and download the latest macOS one. That's nuts. We just like built and shipped our application to a public download page just like that. So let's look at what we got. So it's downloading right now. And all right, it's done. So what we're going to do is unzip this. We get an application and I'm going to drag this to my applications folder. So I'll just do it just to install macOS app. 
And then we go to the applications folder and we will open this. So we'll just open. And we'll say we open this anyway. So now I have this application and it works. However, if I enter my name, um, there's there's an issue. That's not ideal. Why don't we patch it and fix it and use the updater to ship an update instantly to all our users? Let's let's look at that. So we'll come back here and we'll actually fix the issue. So it's in main.rs. And what we're doing is we're not interpolating this properly. So we'll actually do this, fix it in the Rust, like that. Now we'll include this in a new patch update. So we'll update both of these files, the Rust file, the tower reconfiguration, say fix issue. Okay. Now we'll tag that. So we'll git tag 1.0.1. That's a patch release just to match our version here. And we git push and we push the tags with it. So we're doing another release here. And now this is going to go off to GitHub. And what we'll see if we go back to the main code is indeed fix issue is running. And we go through the process again. Uh, while we're going through the process here, let's actually talk about what's happening in the GitHub action. So if we come here, and if we open the action, here's what we have. Release for macOS runs on every tag push. And it runs on a macOS machine. So we build for macOS. You can build for a number of different machines on the GitHub action. So you could build Windows, Linux, macOS, etc. Add them to a release and then ship them all. You can do that as well. So what are we doing? We check out the repo. We cache some stuff. We get the tag name and store it in the GitHub environment. We set up Node and we build our application for M1 Max. We include these things. And when we include the Apple certificates, Towery will automatically sign them for Apple. I think that's really awesome. All we need to do is just include the environment variables. Okay. Then we create a draft release on Crab Nebula Cloud using this. We literally say it's the release draft and we give it our environment variables. We upload our assets. And this is where we can upload not just um, Mac OS binaries, but Linux and Windows as well if we want. And then finally, when everything's uploaded, we publish the release. That's it. This action is open source and available on GitHub. Um, and you're welcome to fork it and use it how you want. Okay, let's check in on the compilation and ultimately shipping the update. Okay, it's done. And we're just finishing creating the binary. Soon, we're going to create a new release and upload the assets right now. So we're doing 1.0.1. And it looks like it's happening. So we're just uploading that new binary and it's published. So if we go back to cloud, back to cloud, what we should see here is 1.0.1 .1 was literally just published. So let's go open our application, just published. So now let's go open our application from the applications directory. So if we open this, we're now in applications, and we'll open it. And what we see is, aha, a new version of this is available. 1.0.1 .1 is available, you have 1.0.0. .0. Would you like to install it? I say yes. So it's going to download the update and tell me it's ready to restart. So I say yes. And just like that, I should have the fixed version. And indeed, I do. This is the power of Crab Nebula Cloud. Instant updates, easy delivery, and continuous delivery through GitHub Actions. In this video, what we looked at was how we can use it quickly. We built just for macOS, but you can build for Linux, Windows, and multi-platforms multi and then release all of them at the same time. You can handle signing yourself. We didn't spend a lot of time there, but all of this is covered in the documentation and more. And if there's nothing yet covered in the documentation, we invite you to our Discord community to have those conversations. Give us your feedback and help us serve you. We look forward to hearing about your experience on cloud, and we can't wait to see what you build. Thank you.